Hey Rifters, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Technolist. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this game was created by the same developer that created The Room and The City. Now, I haven't actually played The City, but I have played The Room. And The Room was one hell of an epic little demo that had a lot of different things in one room that you could check out. And there was a couple things you could interact with. And I was really impressed by it. So as soon as the developer asked me to do a review on this, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it and check it out. Unfortunately, I have already checked it out. I usually don't do that, but I really wanted to check it out, and I didn't have time to actually do a review. This game does come with a bit of a backstory with it, which is always great in a Rift game. It really helps with immersion. So this game takes place in the near future, where 3D printing has become so readily available that you could literally print out anything you wanted. The only catch is that a few multinational mega corporations own the rights to all schematics. So any schematic you print out, Big Brother knows what you're doing at any time. You are actually a hacker that kind of gets around that by hacking and, and printing out your own things. That's pretty much the story on that one. Um, it's a really interesting story. It's really interesting to to think about 3D printing being that readily available where you could just print out anything you wanted, which would be pretty freaking epic. But before I ramble on, let's go ahead and check out the game. All right, just a quick note before this does load completely up. You can use a couple different control schemes. Hard line connection terminated. You received a new private message before connection was lost. Being the controller, the keyboard and mouse, or just the mouse. Go ahead and turn the music off just so you can hear me a little bit better. Now you start out at your computer because you are a hacker. You do have a new message here. So your mission is right now is to disable all of these little uplink devices so they can't see what you're doing. But before we do that, we're just going to go ahead and take a look outside. This looks really freaking cool. Just hearing the cop sounds, the sirens and stuff in the background, and seeing these flying cars go everywhere. This massive billboard in front of you is really freaking cool. I probably could just sit here and stare out the window for quite a while. But since I don't want the video to be extremely long, we're going to go ahead and check out the room. Now, I already know what to do, but we're going to go ahead and just walk around the room and collect a few things. I really like the lighting in this. You can see the light streams shining through the window there, which looks freaking really badass. We have a little toaster oven here. Oh wow, this version is a little bit different. This is an updated version, so it is a little bit different than the version I played, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and leave the light on. This credit stick is nearly depleted. It contains only enough for one soda. Now right now, you just, you're just going around checking everything out, and you're picking up objects. Which I'll tell you why in you just have a little bit. The codes to open the triox and barrels, though I would not use them if I were you. So we just found the codes to open up the the zombie barrels, which it says don't use them, but hey, why not, right? Breathe, breathe deep. Get the, hopefully a zombie don't come out of here and come out of there. That would kind of suck because I don't think I have a way to fight them. Now we did just get some credits. We're going to go ahead and get me a Vindotron 3000. Ah, nice refreshing Coca-Cola. really like the anonymous mask here the wires and the 
the power drill and all this stuff pops out really freaking well. It really looks like it's in front of me. Really like that. Go ahead and pick up the toolbox. The toolbox actually allows you to disable the uplinks, which is my current mission. Let's go ahead and disable this phone booth. Grab this here. Very sexy picture of fucking the chick from Tron. I cannot freaking remember her name. Too bad she wasn't naked in the movie. Oh, there's the toast. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to pick up this other stuff really quickly here. We do have a toaster. We'll go ahead and put the toast in the toaster. Pop it down. It's one hell of a badass looking toaster. Can't say I've ever seen a toaster look quite like that. Stove's a little dirty. I guess I don't like to clean. Make sure those zombies ain't going to be coming out of that barrel anytime soon. Come on, toast. Because it takes longer whenever you're... Oh, there it goes. Ooh, nice fresh toast. Ain't done enough. We're going to throw it in there one more time. Local uplink devices oh, shit. My, my toast is burning. No. I don't want burnt toast. Unless I can't pop it early. Oh, my freaking toast is burnt. Damn it. Oh, there it is. Goddamn camera. Big Brother's always freaking watching. Area secured. Playing new message. Hey, Dad. It's me. Um, Chip. Ah, uh, I'm going away for a couple days. Can you keep an eye on the cats for me? I, uh, oh, sure. need you to watch those fat cats. The, the damn things have been chewing on my wires. You get me, Dad? Watch them for me. Thanks. Alright, so obviously that was a bullshit message. Warning. Unknown attachments may contain malicious software. Please click decompress to confirm. Yes, I want to decompress. The file appears to be a schematic. Moving to work drive. Collect enough of the required components to build the item. Alright, so this is why I was going around collecting everything. Which I really like because... Oh, okay. Now I can interact with it. I really like that you actually have to interact with the environment to get what you need to do here. Let's go over here and see if we've collected everything. More carbon required to build schematics, okay. What did I miss? As I said, this version is different than the version I played originally. Well, did I did I need the toast? Is, it, is this what I needed? Required components obtained. Schematic ready to print. Oh, very cool. It was the toast. So I'm wondering if you have to actually burn the toast. I'm not sure on that one. Before I don't think you needed the toast. Okay, we're gonna hit enter. Go ahead and start this badass 3D printer up. Alright, so that takes about 30 seconds or so. We're going to go ahead and... It appears to be an auditory visual augmentation. Installing now. Okay, so we got this visual... Whoa! This is also different. Very cool. A little static in my eyes. I have analyzed the data from the schematic. It appears to give access to an encrypted data stream. I have added the data to my own systems. Detecting encrypted signals nearby. There is a signal piggybacking on the original billboard feed. It has multiple layers, some of which contain uncertified schematics. A pirate broadcast signal. Very clever really. Using the thing the corporations will maintain broadcasting at all costs, against them. Alright, so we got to download free schematics here.
Oh, that shadow. Oh, shit. Is that the police? Oh, this can't be good. No, I'm not home. No, not me. That's that's an illusion. Hi, guy. That kind of sucks. I think I just got busted. Dude freaking set me up. Ah, uh, nobody's here. Alright, from here, I'm pretty sure you just have to answer the door. I'm just kind of fucking around. So we're going to go ahead and answer the door. Oh, wow. This I did not see. It's freaking incredible. The scale of these buildings is really badass. I've always loved this scale. I thought I heard that damn robot thing. I've always loved the scale of buildings here. And that is a massive freaking robot. Oh shit, run! Oh, that can't be good. Run! <laughs> that was pretty damn cool ending. I was really impressed by that. I think that's all. He did say there is Easter eggs, so I'm sure I missed some stuff. But I'll leave that up to you guys to go ahead and go back through it and see if you can find things that I did not. But anyway, guys, I was totally impressed by this. Very freaking cool. Very interactive. I really like the ending where the big-ass robot was there. Kind of lit up and caught me. It's a very scary future, but it's actually somewhat something that could happen the way that technology is growing but anyway guys as always i will leave links below for this if you have any comments questions or requests please post them below if you like this video and would like to see more videos please like and subscribe also add me on facebook and twitter if you have not already and thanks for watching guys